everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to edit multiplicity photos using Photopea or a free software of your choice Pixlr also works really well for this and they are free and they are web-based so you don't need to download any software if you don't have um, Photoshop so I'm using Photopea the first thing I'm going to do is open the files from my computer and you can see the effect I'm going for, so multiplicity photography gives you that clone effect where you can have multiple people in your frame. So here's a photo I took of my son earlier this morning. So I'm going to choose the files that I want to upload. And it's important that when you take the photos that the camera is as still as possible. So if possible, you want to use a tripod. If you're using a phone, you could keep the camera still and use the timer. So now I have my four photos imported. What I need to do is get the photos on top of each other in a stack of layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the move tool here and I'm going to click. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold that mouse button down. I'm going to drag without letting go of the button. I've dragged it into the other window. And I'm going to very carefully align it so it's perfectly on top. And you should see a red line at the top and on the left-hand side to show that it's aligned. So now I'm going to go back and close this one because I don't need it anymore. I'm now I'm going to drag this one into the window again. So clicking, holding, dragging, wait till it's in the other window, align, let go of the mouse button, and close that one. And then my final one, I'm going to click. There we go. So now you have your photos on top of each other in a, a layer or what's called a stack. Um, it may be beneficial to organize your photos from left to right or right to left, whichever is easy. So you may be able to see with mine. So I'm going to click on this, hold it down, and then drag it up. So I have my figure line aligning from right to left. So I'm just going to move this one. No, hang on. <laughs> this way. That's the way. So now they're kind of going right to left, or, or you could have yours left to right. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add a layer mask to every layer. And a layer mask looks a bit like this. Looks a bit like a black and white version of the Japanese flag. So I'm going to click on that once next layer and all the other layers so you have a layer mask on each layer okay now I'm gonna go one by one and I'm gonna mask areas off which and basically if you if you're not sure what masking is it's it's a process of revealing or hiding parts of a layer and if you imagine a stack of papers on top of each other the piece of paper that is on top is the one that you're going to see and the one that's on the bottom is going to be hidden but by painting in areas by revealing or concealing areas you can show different parts of the layer and I'm going to use that process now so it's really important that you actually click on the layer mask which is the white icon don't actually click on the photo you want to make sure you're clicking on the white part there and I'm going to choose a brush which you can do there or over here uh, I'm not familiar with Photo P um, shortcuts, but I imagine the B will bring up the brush tool. So now what you're going to need is you're going to need black and white, black or white selected on your brush. So here is the little icons. At the moment, I think I've got um, white selected. If you're not sure, you can start painting and see how it goes. So it says that it's locked. So what I'm going to do is un click that the padlock and you may find when you paint that it, it's a little bit slow to process so you can always close a few windows so your browser is nice and fast what I'm doing is I'm using the square bracket keys on my keyboard to make it bigger and smaller left makes it smaller big right makes it bigger there are also you can go up here and choose the brush size there and I recommend changing the hardness to about 50% so it'll give you a nice soft um, brush. 
Okay. So what I need to do is make sure I've got black selected. So I think I've got white selected. So I'm going to go back. And what you're going to find is as you paint, you're actually going to be deleting the figure, which might be a bit concerning at first, but this is the correct process. So once you have... deleted your figure. Now if you've got lots of figures in your frame you may want to just do this a little bit more carefully. You might want to zoom in a bit, use a smaller brush size and now I've got this layer mask created. What I need to do is flip it or invert it so it's going to be the opposite. So instead of cancelling that out, so I'm going to press Command I if you're using a Windows computer it will be Control I and sometimes it takes a while but it will now flip it and you should see your next bigger reveal. So now I'm going to go to the second layer mask here and I'm going to do exactly the same process again. You may find if your photos are not exactly the same exposure you may get some differences um, so it helps if you shoot in manual for this exercise but if you're using a phone, you can always adjust the brightness of the frames afterwards. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to do the same process. Command I or Control I, and that will invert it. And there you've got your third figure. Now I'm going to go to the next layer. Same process again. Command I, Control I to invert the layer mask, and there you have your full figure. So hopefully that helps to show you how that you can create multiplicity photographs. If you don't have a version of Photoshop or a paid version of software, you can do it free online with something like Photopeak or Pixar.